So after understanding the inert gas crystals where van der Waals interaction and Pauli kind of repulsion plays the attractive and repulsive forces in the picture, let's move on to understand the ionic crystals. Ionic crystals, for example, sodium chloride, NaCl, we have discussed the structure of sodium chloride. These are made up of positive and negative ions for sodium chloride plus 1 and minus 1 ion. Thus, the electrostatic attraction binds them together, holds them together as a crystal, as a solid. We conclude that the cohesion energy comes from the electrostatic interaction and we can calculate this uh, cohesive energy, the electrostatic interaction energy. So, the, this energy was first calculated by a scientist called Madelung. Therefore, this energy is called Madelung energy. How did the calculation proceed? The long range interaction between ions with it has the ions will have charges plus minus q in general and the long range interaction would be of electrostatic nature. The electrostatic interaction can be expressed as plus minus q squared over r. We are considering sodium chloride like ions so it's plus 1 minus 1 or we this also goes for plus 2 minus 2 kind of ions otherwise there would be some kind, some other factor to q. q squared over r is the interact electrostatic interaction energy. It is attractive for ions with opposite charges and repulsive for ions with same charge, charges which is obvious. Now the ions arrange themselves in such a way that the attractive interaction is maximized and the repulsive one is minimized. So the total uh, energy must be minimum. That is the way the ions will arrange themselves. The repulsive and attractive interactions that we have seen in case of inert gas that also is present here. However, that uh, interaction is much weaker than the ionic interaction. So, the main contributor to the binding of the ionic crystal is electrostatic energy and that electrostatic energy is called the modeling energy. Now let's consider Uij as the interaction between the ith and jth atom, interaction energy between the ith and jth atom, ion rather, and we define Ui that is the potential felt by the ith atom for every other atom in the crystal. That can be given as sum prime over j uij similar to our earlier prime excludes i equals j okay now we suppose that uij may be written as the sum of a central field kind of a repulsive potential so we write and uh, on top of that this electrostatic interaction. So the central field kind of repulsive potential we will call it a repulsive potential from now onwards. This is of Pauli exclusion kind of origin which we will write as lambda 
exponential minus r over rho. Lambda and rho, these are parameters yet to be determined. So we are taking an exponential form instead of r power minus 12 kind of a form that we have considered earlier. This difference is just mainly for historical reason but here the reason that we consider this kind of a difference is that in case of uh, ionic crystals we don't have their gas form. So this one uh, doesn't require any reference to the gas form while r power minus 12 requires reference to the gas form to determine the coefficients. That's the reason this one uh, works better in this context. And on top of that we must have the Coulomb potential plus minus Q squared over R. That means this potential Uij Uij this quantity can be given as lambda exponential of minus r i j over rho plus minus q squared over r i j. Now this is expressed in CGS unit. In fact everything, every electrostatics that we are doing here is expressed in CGS unit and there is no difference in the physics that we obtain from CGS and SI unit so we don't care about conversion of the units. Again the positive sign is for like charges and the negative sign for unlike charges here. The So we treat the strength of this repulsive potential lambda and range that is rho as constants to be determined from observed values of lattice constants and compressibility. We have used an exponential form here as we have discussed earlier um, that is used more useful for uh, ionic solids and the exponential repulsive term describes the fact that each ion resists overlap with electrons distributed in its neighbor. So for the ions we do not have gas phase data that is the reason this form is better suited. In sodium chloride structure the value of Ui does not depend on whether the reference ion I is positive or negative. Just because you will see that this quantity uh, if, it, if the ith ion is positive it will have uh, interaction with other positive atoms the plus sign will come. Interaction with other negative atoms the minus sign will come. If ith is negative for interaction with other negative ions plus will come and uh, for positive minus sign will come. So it remains the same there is no essential difference in it. Now we can uh, arrange the sum to make it converge rapidly so that its value will not depend on the site of the reference ion in the crystal as long as it is not near the boundary. And in kind in considering this bulk system, we will ignore the boundary. We will ignore the surface of the system. And now, if we have n molecules, in case of sodium chloride NaCl, that is one formula in it. We are calling that a molecule. That means we have twice n in case of sodium chloride, uh, twice n ions we can write the total energy as NUI. We are not writing twice NUI because UI considers the interaction energy coming from two atoms, sorry, two ions. So we need to 
uh, we should not double count in order to exclude counting each interaction twice it's uh, n ui that's the total energy the total lattice energy is defined as the energy required to separate the crystal into individual ions and those individual ions will move at infinite distances there would be no interaction so the amount of energy that we uh, put into the system that uh, takes all the ions at infinite distance that is the amount of energy that the lattice stores so that is the lattice energy so now we again introduce the pij kind of terms so rij the distance between two ions is now written as pij r where capital r is the nearest neighbor separation If we include the repulsive interaction only among the nearest neighbors, uh, so the repulsive interaction of this exponential form that we have considered, we will consider that this interaction acts only among the nearest neighbors, not beyond. So what was the origin of this interaction? There were uh, electron clouds that were overlapping and Pauli exclusion principle caused this interaction. So that won't anyway be valid for ions staying far apart this assumption that uh, this interaction is only for nearest neighbors that's quite valid and if we perform that kind of an approximation we can write uij as lambda exponential of minus r capital r only because it's among the nearest neighbors minus q squared over capital R only minus sign because the nearest neighbor would be opposite uh, charged ion oppositely charged ions so this holds for the nearest neighbors and the interaction would be plus minus 1 over pij u squared over r otherwise if the ions are far apart or not nearest neighbor that's all so using this expression and summing over j first and then summing over i we can write the total energy as n times ui equals n times small z which is the coordination number lambda e power minus r over rho minus alpha q squared over r alpha is a new parameter that we have introduced here z is the coordination number that is the number of nearest neighbors uh, so by summing over everything we will have the nearest neighbor term coming like this and this is the coulomb interaction term now what is alpha alpha as you can see if you look at this uh, expression and then sum over it you will find that alpha can be given as some prime over j plus minus sine over pij and this quantity is yet to be determined this is called the modeling constant The sum should include the nearest neighbor contribution, which is just z. The value of the Madelung constant is crucial for the theory of ionic crystals because 
this one gives us the electrostatic interaction now if we consider the equilibrium separation just like earlier you taught you, the total energy would be minimum so this derivative will go to zero which means we will have n times dui dr equals minus nz lambda over rho exponential of minus r over rho plus n alpha q squared over r squared this quantity would go to zero and putting uh, r not in place of r and solving for this we can find r not equals let's not write r not equals because this expression is not that simple it's r not squared exponential of minus r not over rho this quantity becomes rho alpha q squared over z lambda now this determines the equilibrium separation if we know the parameters lambda and rho then this equation can easily be solved there is no problem what about the total lattice energy of the crystal the total lattice energy for 2n ions at their equilibrium separation are not that can be written as in this expression we will just put the value of r naught which will now become this and here we have this prefactor that is minus n alpha q squared over r naught this is the modeling energy now we shall find rho is of the order of 0.1 r naught so rho is something like this it has this kind of a value so the repulsive interaction as you can see has very short range 